Okay, drawing a rooster. Start off using your woodless colored pencils on mixed media paper. We're going to draw a very basic teardrop shaped shape for the head. Um, go in very lightly, just put in a few uh, where the shapes go. Don't dive into the details. You want to kind of pick out first where things roughly are and then come back and kind of cement them in. So what I'm drawing here is the bottom part of the comb that's on the top. I can lay in some feathery shapes there. Pick a spot for the eye that is about halfway between the back of the head and the beak right there, the front of the beak. And we're going to lay this in as a simple almond shape and then detail it a little more. Kind of pick out the circle for the, uh, for the eye. And then lay in a little bit of the, the uh, skin folds that are around the top of the eye there. Uh, this is the ear. Um, I don't even know what you call that. Anyway, it's that big wad of fluff that covers the ear. Um, and we're going to drop in some of the lines for where the waddle should be here on the bottom. Again, just put it in really lightly. You don't have to put it in really heavy just yet. That way we can make adjustments. Um, let's see. The waddle has two lobes to it, so you're going to want to put in one and then come back and put the other one in behind it so that it looks like it's kind of folded up behind the other one and here's another part I don't even remember what you call all this stuff I don't have chickens so I don't know now uh, about one third of the way up put that line for the where the top and the bottom bottom of the beak separate uh, pick out a little bit of that detail and we're going to start darkening darkening things like the iris uh, put a little highlight in right there above the iris and try to leave that white draw around it if you can that'll be the white of the paper so you don't have to come back and try to lighten that up i'm going to draw with some black and pick out the darker areas around the eye and fill in the iris and we're also going to put in some shadows that are happening across the top half of the eye that'll give it some really nice dimension now we'll go back with a little bit of brown kind of darken that up so it's not a straight black I don't like using a lot of uh, really dark colors on these things I like to use the darker of like the red or brown but anyway uh, let's fill in some of the shapes of the comb and this is really loosey-goosey so you can kind of fill that in rough you don't have to fill it in perfect you can just pick some shapes that kind of fit and look spiky and let it go now I'm gonna color in this is a white rooster so we're gonna color in some of this um, the red that's on all this stuff without actually taking the whole time because it's boring now go around the outside and pick out some details on the inside there with that red uh, those are just some little lumpy bits in this comb and let's fill in a few more details to kind of push that eye backwards and red is a little funny you got to be careful so it doesn't look like you got you know blood on your drawing you want to use it really carefully uh, this is a angle that line so that it, it kind of pushes that head and neck back into space a little bit gives it some dimension and then pick out these lines on these lower waddle shapes really define those for where they are and then fill in some more shadows kind of again go careful with that red you want it to look like the actual 
flesh tone that's there, the the red wattle tone. I don't even know what you'd call that. I guess that's the best way to say it. Um, there's some shadows happening underneath the beak there, so that's kind of what you're filling in. And we'll put in a few little details. Pick out some of the white feathers on the top, and that is done.